Quraysh, they knew the meaning of the Shahada. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُمْ لَا إِلَهِ إِلَى اللَّهِ يَسْتَكْبِرُونَ When it was said to them, say, لَا إِلَهِ إِلَى اللَّهِ, they would be arrogant. Right? They would be stubborn. They wouldn't utter لَا إِلَى إِلَى اللَّهِ because they knew the ramifications and what this kalima entails. That once you say لَا إِلَى إِلَى اللَّهِ, that means you have to get rid of all of these idols. We know that the Kaaba was filled with idols. When it was said to them, say, لَا إِلَى إِلَى اللَّهِ, they wouldn't even utter it. However, today you may find one uttering the La ilaha illallah, but he doesn't actually know what it means. Or he says La ilaha illallah, while at the same time, he may be practicing certain acts of shirk. Right? Their response would be, You want us to get rid of all of our idols, all of our gods, for a magician that has gone crazy. Right? He would say, say la ilaha illallah. They would respond back by saying, you want us to get rid of all of these gods and turn it into one? As Allah Azza wa quotes in another place in the Quran. So they knew what he meant, right? Hence why they didn't say it.